Alrightians guys, I'm gonna go ahead with another video here. And this is yet more subject matter that I've been meaning to talk about. And yes, another thing that I've talked about in blogs. And, uh, yeah, and I'll, I did rather unique troll comments. By the way, I gotta do a video on this. I, a term that I would like to start using, calling it counter-trolling or sensible trolling, because I know there's other trolls out there that do troll comments that seem to have their head in the right place, unlike some of these other trolls out there. So, with the, the subject matter I want to talk about today is... Um, I'm going to just call it random discussion. I'm going to make it as uh, plain as I could without rambling this time, I promise. Uh, but um, And another thing, yeah, that's one thing I want to say too is, um, yeah, what you choose to put on your computer's desktop or what you, I mean, <laughs> computer's desktop, excuse me, or what you uh, want to look at in a magazine is up to you and I'm not saying anything that did I want to be some uh, big uh, religious fundamentalist that uh, wants to deny you what you're allowed to look at but uh, I'm just gonna say it's a reflection on you and your ideas and what kind of person you are and how it could be better but like it says it is all up to you and I'm gonna say why I ch yeah if you have a some whatever uh, picture of a girl on your desktop you know nothing wrong with that it's like but what I'm advocating in my YouTube is another thing too that's what I like to talk about a little bit here um my question is um yeah, nothing wrong with having some girl on your desktop and all that, but uh, we're gonna. Ha the, the question is here: um, wh What's your line? Where is your line, and what do you consider too far? Uh, that varies among people, and um, I'm looking at all kind of different things that. Um, well, all the things that I'm into. I'm going to tell you why I prefer the female displays of strength and power and agility and all kind of skill and all kind of things like that over the pornographic outlook. Yeah, one of my questions too is, um, I watch a lot of stuff that I started, you know, getting into for a while. Everything from the really uh, nice chicks that talk... Uh, do their talk videos and their yoga videos, you know, uh, hi, this is Keena McGregor, and today we're gonna, you know, they look, yes, they're hot looking, and, yeah, they were given the gift of looking better than other women, and I wanted to do another video, too, I'm not gonna yammer on, but I'm gonna do a separate video one of these days, uh, that, say, even if you're a woman or a guy, and you're a little on the chubby side, or you're your body type is different, you're not the greatest to look at, and why you should do certain things, or try certain things, or have the right to be able to engage in the same kind of things, too, and be able to do it, you know, and I'd like to see more people on YouTube, even though they're not the greatest looking, yes, go try this stuff, and yeah, one of my things, too, is instead of looking at everything all pornographic, uh, like other people do, hey, uh, any, any of you guys maybe look at that pole dancer, that, uh, gymnast that yoga person and yeah if you're one of them people that ain't just on the internet just looking for porn and pictures of porn and want to see everything naked all the time you know what I mean see all the things I choose I I would rather uh, some of my things are, are like uh, a better positive energy I believe that if you're a dude and you engage in certain things maybe you're into watching sports and football too did I think that not only you should have a male hero but instead of having a a male sports hero and your female uh, person you want to watch being a porn associated thing you should 
pair that up with, of course, common sense, a female athletic or sports hero, or if it's a pole dancer or any kind of thing like that, the appreciation for the displays of power and strength over wanting to see something naked and caring about uh, the pornographic side of thing. I think the, if you're in, if all you on your mind is pornography, it's a lot of people it creates a physical and mental laziness. But don't get me wrong, there's a lot of really intelligent people. Of <laughs> word, shoot, young kids did when I was in college for about three years. They're looking at that shit and they get better grades. And I don't care for that an idea too. Really, honestly, if it even though it floats some people's boat, that very ac that academically smarter people than me are engaging in that kind of thing and that crap with Carnegie Mellon University. I did a video on that. Matter of fact, that unlike even all my other videos, that incident at Carnegie Mellon University, that chick and all that on there, man, that video got about a thousand views in like a day and shit. But one of the things I forgot to add is that I don't regard somebody like that that parades around naked and shaves their vagina in the shape of a cross or whatever is any kind of a hero at all whatsoever. If you want to pick somebody the hero, pick the baton twirler and the the cheerleaders that can stand up up on each other's shoulders in multiple levels and be able to do all kind of acrobatics. To me, yeah, that is awesome. That's should be a female hero like that, you know what I mean? Or if you're in the sports, yeah, well, nothing wrong with if you want to have a swimsuit picture on your desktop or something like that. Maybe they are hot looking or whatever. Instead of the pornographic idea in your mind, you should have the um, uh, display of uh, power of being part of being attractive or whatever because uh, anyway the reason say if you engage in any kind of physical activity yourself this way of thinking kind of uh, shoots back and forth I mean to me it's like if well if you've been listening to this video thus far I should have said this in the beginning in case uh, you get too bored with my video <laughs> to even hear this part, but I'm going to type it in text. It's like Tesla talking about the alternating current of electricity. Well, anything you think about or decide to take upon, say even, I don't care, even if you don't believe in any spiritual energy, there's still an, even if you're an atheist and a, uh, what do you call it, evolutionist, there's still an energy that's inside our heads that bounce back of, from our thoughts. It's alternate. I think the positive female hero instead of it being a porn star or something being a display of strength. If you're into sports that should bounce back and forth. And thus say if you were really active in a sport it would make sense too that you'd be uh, attractive to a hot looking person that's into some kind of you know fitness activity then you'll be equally yoked if you decided to get married or have a steady relationship and all that like you know um yeah, the football player is not going to marry a cheerleader all the time, but say if you were one of those dudes that are into tennis, yeah, you might find yourself into a tennis player because you're going to be impressed by the uh, thing like that, you know what I mean? Um, or, you know, uh, the dudes out there that are into fitness, the female weightlifter people, you know what I mean? Um, inside of it, there's also a thing that you're advocating the women's right to be able to do something good and have a display of power instead of um, just being uh, considered to be nothing but a sex object in a uh, the porn star like and it's almost like you want to any guy that's wants to be like that yeah, wants to keep them down to a level uh, lower level, you know what I mean? But but there's also another thing I kind of preach too, that I said in some cases, the difference between the secular and the really, uh, hard, some of the hardline religious people, as far as sexuality is, the, se the secular side wants to see everything naked and 
wants to have sex with everything it's it sees without any care of responsibility for what results and then the Christian side will use its religion and say oh women yeah the Christian guy can be uh, what do you call it horny as hell but use his religion to justify it and say that he should be able to have the uh, 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 anytime he wants and the woman's uh, job is just to pound out the babies and not really allowed they would rather not have them be the minister or the preacher or be able to have any physical displays of power which in my if I were to build a church I told people before it would be involved in um, a little spiritual struggle wielding of items kind of similar to the Zorkarne which was uh, a uh, came from the Iranian culture but yet I made a case that a lot of different uh, medieval cultures did something like it so I wanted to make it so different weight classes of the instruments that both guys and women can do it too and it can be something good and I even have blueprints uh, what my area would look like you know I mean for such a group getting together for a fellowship like that rather unique you know what I mean too but my whole YouTube uh, channel was really sloppy but one of these days I might uh, exp uh, expose some of the blueprints to you and make them known unveil oh, yeah if unveil is not expose unveil is the word that I would like to do but um yeah there would even be <laughs> hell there would even be a uh, uh, pews and a choir and a uh, some you know just like you know a lot of these other cultures the tambourines and the drums just like the in the Zorkarne you had the Morchette uh, playing the drums and the tambourines and the bells to the beat of uh, the exercises and, and what I liked about the bell in when they ring the bell when they're playing the instruments and that it reminds me of the ding ding when people were going into the boxing ring which I can't stand that annoying uh, you know I from I understand some of the boxings in places they uh, replaced the classic ding ding bell with that stupid ass buzzer and I hate that thing I think that's another thing that I would advocate religiously to keep the old fashioned ding ding you know in the boxing sparring ring and not that shit you know what I mean but uh, yeah there, YouTube is full of classic examples you know what I mean and uh, that's why instead of like say looking at the belly dancer and looking at everything you know as an object like that yeah, have appreciation for the culture and to be able to spin around like that and yeah and to be able to wield two uh, large uh, uh, one-edged swords in two hands like like the one chick there it's my hero there I think uh, I have a couple of copies I put on a YouTube the name was uh, Sabine uh, double swords uh, I think her name was Sabine I think if you would put the type the name in YouTube you would find her name and man I'd like to see more of that you know more of uh, her stuff there send them my way if you find any more because yeah the wielding of two swords you know is really awesome and I think attractive as far as I'm concerned and that's why I would infuse the kind of workouts I do inspired by the idea that women can do that too because I wanted to dovetail it into the, the major at baton thing and make it slightly heavier and then encourage this idea of the spiritual struggle the women uh, bearing the sword is a symbol of spiritual struggle between good and evil that's what it's all about all right I'm up to 14 minutes here if, if you've gotten this far in my rambling congratulations uh, but I'm gonna type a description in there in case you don't watch the video you know and can't stand my rambling but if you've gotten this far and gotten something out of this thank you for watching